Hey guys, Claire here, and today I'm going to share with you my 10 favorite things right now in skincare and beauty for summer. Um, I'm pregnant as well, so there's a little bit of that, but honestly not a lot. So I'm avoiding certain things, but for the most part, all of these are pregnancy friendly and I'm obsessed with all of them. They're all really good. All right, let's see, first up. This is a scent that my sister introduced me to. Um, it's called Nova, and the scent is called Green Musk. I love it because it's purse-sized, and it has a really fresh scent, and it, you can put it on with like a rolly ball, so you don't have to be like spraying yourself when you're at the beach or whatever. Mm, it just has this really lovely scent that is green, and woodsy at the same time. So it's really beautiful. I like this one a lot. So Nova Green Musk, perfect for in your beach bag. I love that I keep referencing the beach as if I go to the beach. I'm so freaking pale. I don't, <laughs> I'm the worst Californian ever. Like think about like the Calif like visit California commercials and then invert that. Like I should have, I should be in Seattle. Like that's more my personality. Keeping up the beachy vibes. Um, I also can't pronounce this hair care company. Hoi? Ooi? Ooi? Someone in the comments will tell me. Um, but it's a hair care brand that my sister recommended, and this is their Wave Spray. Spray Ondulation. And it's pretty easy. I mean, you basically just like, it's a texture mist. You shake it up. You can spray it on dry hair, even like this, and just kind of scrunch it. It smells fabulous. And then you just let it air dry, and then by the time you know, maybe by the end of the video, I'll have beach waves. Let's find out. But I love it. I like that this isn't just like water with salt in it and then they're charging me $25. There's other things in it. Oh, also keeping up in the hair game is this. It's, um, this is called, this one is Indian healing clay, but essentially all it is is just sodium uh, bentonite. So bentonite clay is fantastic. So what you do is you take a little bit of this, put in some water, soak your hair in it, and it'll come out almost like like these really ridiculous like sculptural waves. Also, if you just make it into a paste, you can put it on your skin to detoxify. You can put it in your hair to detoxify. It's pretty fabulous stuff. You can kind of use it for whatever. So I really love it. And if you want to give your hair a little bit of extra texture, like that dirty look, this stuff's really great. All right, on to the skincare. So my sister gave this to me. Amanda has the best skincare. She's like a skincare nut. So if she likes it, I like it. So this one's by The Glossier and it's their Moisturizing Moon Mask. And I love this one. It has such a great scent. I just like, it's very simple and lovely. And basically what you do is you put a thick layer on and let it sit for 20 minutes and then you wash it off, but it's super moisturizing and really beautiful. So if I've been out in the sun or outside, I'll like put this on at night, feels really great, very soothing super good. I also recently went on a meme box binge. I don't know if you guys know meme box. Um, it's a Korean skincare or beauty company. So you can just buy things and they, it's all Korean. Um, and everyone knows the Koreans have the best skincare, right? Like it's just sort of a known like fact Koreans do skincare best. So this was one of their highest rated things. It's the carbonated bubble clay mask. It has a little piggy on it. It's the piggy clay mask but it's pretty nuts. You put it on your hands with some water and it bubbles and foams. So you can feel the bubbles on your skin, but it's really fun and it feels great when you wipe it away. Your skin feels super clean. It feels like it really pulled everything out of it. So this is a fun mask to do. And also it would not have been a binge on a Korean company uh, website if I hadn't gotten a sheet mask. I really love this company, Atang. It's this peeling, soothing mask. This just feels so great after you take it off, like off your skin. It sits on your skin, continues to moisturize. It's super soothing and really, really good. So I absolutely love it. It's fun. I'm really into sheet masks now. It's a thing. And then for um, my sunscreen. So I love Caudalie. It's one of my favorite skincare lines. So this is their anti-wrinkle protection cream, but it also has an SPF 20. So I like putting this on underneath my makeup. However, if I'm going out somewhere and I know I'm gonna be in the sun, Vanna Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 50 plus is fantastic. This is what my dermatologist actually recommended. Vanna Cream is a very um, well-respected company. They don't really have like they have stuff that works in it, but nothing that's um, toxic or bad for your skin. And I have actually very sensitive skin, so this is good for it. It has 
no dyes, no lanolin, fragrance, masking fragrance, parabens, formaldehyde, and other preservatives. It's kind of gnarly to think that those things are actually in a ton of beauty products, um, but Vanna Cream's really awesome, so I'm really enjoying that. Again, last but not least, this is also from Glossier and also from my sister, but it's the really great um, sort of like colored chapstick. I love it. This one is called, this is the color Like. Here you can see. Cute, right? It's just simple. This is perfect. I love having this in my purse. It just adds a little bit of color, but it's not fussy or annoying. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about some of my favorite skincare products for summer. I love all of these. They're really fun. Please comment below if you've tried any of them. I would love to hear. Also, if there's anything you guys love for summertime, please comment. Like the video if you like it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.